Okay, in that case, I'm gonna teach how can you use the fur axis operations. I'm gonna click open, or open. After that, I'm gonna focusing on meaning four axis operation. As you can see, I selected all files like this. I'm gonna click my folder. It's SolidWorks product. Okay, I'm gonna click isometric perspective. As you can see. In that case, that's not good for meaning operation. I need to turn my product. So I need to focus on my C plane. I'm gonna click C plane options. I'm gonna select front. As you can see, my Z direction changed. So I'm gonna click transform options. I'm gonna click rotate options. After that, I can select my product. I'm gonna click end section. So after that, I can write my rotation angel. I'm gonna click move. I'm gonna click OK. So after that, I can turn back top view. So I'm gonna click top view. Yeah, I think that's OK. No, it's not OK. I need to turn it according to Mm. Okay, let's turn it. It's not easy to use that stuff. I'm gonna turn it according to right perspective. As you can see, that is our X axis. I'm gonna click rotate again. I'm gonna select my part. I'm gonna click end section. After that, I need to calculate um, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I can write 100 divided by sorry 100 divided by 6 I'm gonna click enter I'm gonna click OK yeah that's OK is that OK yeah that's OK I'm gonna click right perspective so yeah that's OK I'm gonna click isometric perspective. I can turn back the top view. Yeah, that's our product. I'm gonna click save options. Yeah, after that, I can create my first toolpath, of course. So, firstly, I need to select my meaning. I'm gonna select default machine. After that, I can. Um, and I can use okay I can use I can use uh, wireframe options I'm gonna select curve on edge I'm gonna select that one after that I'm gonna click OK as you can see I selected my curve after that I can turn back to to uh, wireframe I'm gonna click trim extent options i'm gonna click and that one i intend to use uh, some tool okay let me check firstly the z position so i'm gonna select analyze i'm gonna select my curve so according to that c plane i need to focus on that one as you can see minus 100 so it means that i need to use uh, 120 tool diameter and uh, to handle that stuff or uh, maybe I can use 50 millimeters tool diameter so I'm gonna extend my line length and 60 I'm gonna click that one to that one yeah I think that's enough maybe I can extend it more 10 millimeters like this yeah, I think that's enough after that I'm gonna click right mouse button I'm gonna use contour options I can select my curve like this I'm gonna click OK after that I need to create my tool I'm gonna click create tool I'm gonna create 50 millimeters tool diameter I'm gonna write my FC 
FC gonna be 0 0.1. I'm gonna write my cutting speed. Cutting speed can be uh, 120. Spindle speed and feed rate calculated. I'm gonna select. Um, yeah, I can use the same 300 or maybe 600. It's not important. I intend to plunge my materials outside of the material. So that's why I can use that's bigger than feed rate so i'm gonna click linking parameters and yeah in that case you can use incremental and i'm gonna select 20 incremental 5 incremental 0 no it's not 0 that's our line perspective so maybe i can use i can i can use 10 or it can be five i'm gonna use zero okay after that i need to select cutting parameters that is my compensation type it's calculated by computer this is my comp compensation direction i'm gonna select left one okay yeah that's enough i don't intend to use depth cut i'm gonna use multiple so i'm gonna select that one I can select for example uh, that stuff I can select let me uh, for example 40 45 millimeters maybe I'm gonna select yeah one finish operation I can select zero so uh, I intend to repeat my final finish toolpath okay uh, okay I forget to cancel leading out operation because because as as you know i extend my curve so i don't need to worry about the leading out operations or as you can see i intend to use the um, conventional machining so that's why i'm gonna use uh, like this activities as you can see that is our first step Okay, let me show you by using the top perspective. That's zero one uh, G zero movement. So like this. Okay, it's repeated again. So yeah, I think that's enough. So in that case, how can we? Uh, do it by using four axis okay um, okay in that case I'm gonna use and uh, meal tool pass I can select transform options I'm gonna select rotate options as you can see in the rotate options I'm gonna select rotate one I'm gonna click and uh, six I can select 60 degree, 0 to 60 degree incrementation. I'm gonna click OK. Yeah. OK. So, as you can see, it doesn't work. So, I need to change something. OK. While you are rotating, our tool pad i need to change my plane so as you can see i'm gonna click that one i'm gonna select right view i'm gonna click ok i'm gonna click regenerate my operations yeah it's exactly i want as you can see i yeah but there is some mistakes why i have no idea okay let's turn back to rotation operation i'm gonna select two <coughs> yeah that's okay after that yeah 
that's okay exactly after that I'm gonna click that one Again. yeah okay that's that's a mistake I think okay I'm gonna select that one yeah I think I need to select no that's enough I'm gonna select that one that's that's the mistake okay let me see that I'm gonna select right rotate I'm gonna select two I'm gonna select resonate operations yeah after that I'm gonna select back build operation that's one that's two three three again one two three okay I repeat it again yeah as you can see that's our mistakes so we need to also use a tool play include origin I need to select that one I also need to select that one that's our starting angel that's our repeat incremental degrees so I'm gonna select regenerate my operations I'm gonna select back plot as you can see I also made a mistake so I can see what's happening while using the back plot operation as you can see I changed my degree I'm gonna click back plot operation yeah I think that's enough yeah that's my third one yeah that's okay I need to change rotation 3 4 and 5 after that I need to regenerate my dirty operations yeah so I think that's enough okay let's see what's happening that's 1 2 3 and 3 again that one that one sorry about the click noise that one okay let's keep going like this okay that one that one that one yeah yeah that's that yeah that's enough I think okay we got it after that let's talk about that properties I'm gonna click that one let's calculate the slope diameter I'm gonna click home and analyze it as you can see that's different so I can use 10 millimeters tool okay I'm gonna click mill tool pads I'm gonna click top contour operations I'm gonna select my geometry okay let's cancel that I'm gonna select like this okay let's select our tool I'm gonna create my tool my tool can be 10 millimeters I'm gonna write my feed rate that's my cutting speed yeah in that case linking operation incremental 20 incremental 10 and incremental 0 because our geometry and on the that surface so I can use zero if you click on that I'm gonna select that one it's minus five millimeters I'm gonna click depth cut I'm gonna click that one I can write one millimeters and um, one zero point one okay I think that's enough in leading operation I'm gonna open that I'm gonna select zero for line I'm gonna select 
uh, that's uh, 24 hour diameter it's two millimeters I'm gonna select degree of my slip I'm gonna select that one that's entry parts I'm gonna turn to exit by using that arrow okay I think that's enough leaking parameters I'm gonna close that one I'm um, okay that's enough yeah I made a mistake okay don't worry about that I can handle that okay weave I'm gonna select wireframe perspective as you can see I need to change my cutting direction I'm gonna select right I'm gonna click OK I'm gonna regenerate my dirty operation as you can see I created okay I think I think that's enough okay let's talk about that I'm gonna copy that one I'm gonna paste it I'm gonna use that one that is the first operation I'm gonna select that one I just need to click OK and regenerate my dirty operation as you can see yeah it's easy way to create rotary operations as you can see okay let's talk about that one how can I handle that okay we need to be careful about that I'm gonna select curve on my edge I'm gonna click that one to that one after that I'm gonna focusing on 3d operation I'm gonna click line that's my first point that's my second point okay okay after that I'm gonna change my C plane I can select front as you can see that is my Z direction I'm gonna click 2d operation I'm gonna click Z point I'm gonna click that one that's kind of things I'm gonna select for example mine is 35 I'm gonna select that age I'm gonna select transform and project options as you can see I created my line after that don't forget to turn back the top view I'm gonna select that uh, I'm gonna delete that and I can select surface operations I'm gonna click draft I'm gonna select that one I'm gonna click OK OK in that case I need to also change my um, C plane like this reselect I'm gonna click OK what's wrong OK I need to change my degrees like this that can be 70 okay that one 70 millimeters okay I'm gonna click OK after that I can change okay I can turn back the top view after that if you would like to you can extend your you can extend your face I'm gonna click that one I need to extend my surface two millimeters I'm gonna select surface after that I need to go to edge of our surface I'm gonna click OK and I'm gonna do that for that one yeah I think that's enough I need I also need to delete that one that one after that I'm gonna click create on the edge I'm gonna click surface that one ah, okay sorry that one to that one I'm gonna click ah okay that's my mistake I'm gonna use 3d operations after that I'm gonna select that one and that one I'm gonna click okay yeah I think that's enough I'm gonna select delete that one in that case I can create my toolpath okay uh, also I can create my boundary of course 
I turn back the Z direction. For example, I can organize it by 70 millimeters like this. After that, I can use transform and project options. And okay, sorry about that. And I need to select that one, do that one. After I'm gonna click end selection, as you can see, I created my boundary. Boundary curve, I'm gonna click that one. I can use wireframe. I'm gonna click 3D operation, that one to that one, that one to that one. I'm gonna click OK. After that, I can create my toolpath. Surface finish operation, contour operation. I'm gonna select my surface. I'm going to click OK. I can select my boundary. That's my tool boundary. After that, I can create my tool. My tool can be like this. 10 millimeters maybe. I'm going to click OK. That's my feed rate. That's my cutting speed. I'm going to select that one. 5 millimeters and 1 millimeters. As I stock to leave on the drive, I don't want to leave any materials on the drive surface. I am not select check surface. I'm going to click finish contour operation. That's my step down. I'm going to select that one. Okay, I don't want to use that. I'm going to select optimize cut order. I'm going to click cut depths. I'm going to select zero to zero. I'm going to select distance and I can use broke. I'm going to use zigzag. That's uh, open contours. I'm going to select conventional machining. I'm going to click OK. OK, that's our toolpath. Maybe I can select different tool diameter. I'm going to click edit my tool. I'm going to turn back to 20 millimeters. I'm going to click OK. OK. I'm going to rec decalculate my tool pad. I think that's enough. OK. After that, of course, I'm going to save it. I'm going to click copy and paste it. Ah, OK, that's not. Sorry about that. I'm going to delete it. I'm going to copy that operations. I'm going to pass it over there. I'm going to click the parameters operation. I need to select that one, not that one. OK, and I'm going to select geometry, tool plane and rotation. I'm going to select rotation plane. I'm going to click and I'm going to regenerate my toolpath. Yeah. That's exactly what we want. OK. Let's see the G code. I'm going to click that one to that one. I think that's enough. I'm going to click G1 button like this. I'm going to click OK. No, I don't want to get all operations. I'm going to click No. I'm going to click that one. You need to wait for a while. Yeah, that's our toolpath. As you can see, that is A, is our rotary axis. Yeah, it's perfect. Okay, I'm gonna click remove block numbers. Yeah, I think that's enough. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to save my uh, NC file. Yeah, I think that's enough. I'm going to click save it. Yeah, that's OK. Thank you very much.